Good evening. I usually say good morning, so I'll just do it for the fun of it. Good morning. But it's tea time for us. So we've gone back from the lovely old town. I forget what it was called. Do you remember what it was called, darling? Who live here? Something to do with Olight? Who live here? Because I kept thinking of the torch. Who live here? Who live here? Who live here? Who live here? Okay, right, it's dinner time for us anyway. We're going to have a homemade meal tonight. Uh, there was a lovely restaurant in town. But because we changed our minds for spending two nights here to one night, I think we decided we're just going to eat in tonight. As Dan already has anyway, a chicken and mushroom pie that he bought from the deli yesterday. So we're going to stick that in the oven. Um, he has one of these chicken breasts left that he brought from the deli yesterday, which £8.20, €8.23 for two of these. He wasn't impressed. But I'm just wondering, is it the way I cooked it? I don't know. So I'm going to stick that on because it has to be cooked. And I'm going to do one of these wraps that Dan got as well. Stick that in a bit of foil, put it in the oven, warm it through. So he's got a bit of an option tonight. Uh, yeah, let's get this open. Are you hungry or starving, darling? Starving. I'm starving, guessing. Starving, absolutely starving. I'm definitely guessing so. So this pie, I don't know if it's handmade or what. It looks very, let me just show you the inside of that. Can you see that? I'm sure that's going to be different, heated up. Dan was, oh babe, that actually smells really nice. I think you're going to like this. Good. Yeah. Dan was actually looking for a supermarket to go and get some peas, but I don't think he's going to need it. Um, going back to the chicken, let's just put that in a bit of, because that's already cooked, yeah? Unfortunately, he didn't like it. I don't really know why. Oh, yeah. it, it looks amazing. So we're only really heat, reheating that. And the next thing we're reheating, Dan got these two wraps, so I'm going to put one of these in foil as well. And that's his tea, but he'll keep picking at that all night, so he's not greedy or whatever. This will just be all night. Just put one of them in there. There we go. So that's, that's tea tonight for Dan. Let me just put that in the oven because that's been heating up. Me, I've got this beautiful salad. Boring! <laughs> Caesar salad, right. I've never bought one of these back home where it contains chicken as well. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to open this. You're going to be actually surprised. Never get this back home. Right. So you open it up. And you end up with this. You end up with this tray. So you've got two containers of uh, croutons, uh, palm ham, uh, palm cheese, and you've got a little bit of chicken. And then you've got your Caesar sauce and your salad in there. That was lovely. I really, really enjoyed that last night. So that's my tea. I'd rather eat a tea towel. Let me show you what else we bought today. Just some super glue. One euro fifty-five. That's for a little job I need it for. But I got one of these Spanishy uh, candles. One euro thirty-five. Um, I've always bought one whenever I've gone abroad because it's, because it's like a it's like a holiday thing to me. They used to, you know, I'm used to seeing. They usually are that size actually, and they. What do you mean boring? Candles are boring. Salad is boring. They usually have these on the restaurant tables. But anyway, your tea's in the oven. You... I'm looking forward to it. He's Proper gonna get, food. He's going to get a slap. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. From lovely, warm Spain. <sighs> Freezing. First time I had to put, well, put the diesel, diesel heater on this morning. Four degrees. <sighs> I've checked out the weather for the next week here. I know we're heading off, but the next week here 
it's going to be like two degrees through the night and only up to seven eight degrees through the day what's going on <laughs> um, and I've looked at Valencia which is like on the coast and it's over 20 degrees and sunny every day for a week but we have said haven't we to ourselves we want to do the proper Spain we want to show you the little towns and villages yeah where no one else usually goes yes. basically we don't want to give you a set of videos just going around going to a campsite and playing in the pool you know that ain't what we're about is it not playing in the pool in this weather anyway what are you on about <laughs> you would if it were if you were in benidorm it's 28 degrees down there um. <clears throat> um yeah we want to show you the real spain but it's cold <laughs> You sound so trapped this morning. I know, it's really put a downer on it for me. Well, we're it's moving cold. on. We are we? moving on, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure it'll Cheer get up. Better. Come on, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Apparently it does get snow in Spain over the winter anyway, so we yeah. were told. Well, so... it says for three hours today, from 12 yeah. till 3, it's going to be hail. Yeah, here, where we yeah. are here. Like, we don't know how high up we are in the mountain bit here, but it's cold. Yeah, I do know we were driving quite high up getting here and stuff, but then we kept going up and down, up and down, so I don't know what level we're at now. No, no. <laughs> so a lot of people are saying in the comments, oh, get on the south coast, get on the coast, it's warm there, it's sunny, it's lovely. Yeah, but that isn't what we want to do. We want to see Spain. So we're going to stick with it for now anyway, yeah. aren't we? We're going to stick with yeah. little towns and villages. Today we're off to somewhere a bit special because the air is right next to some caves. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Some caves. Yeah. So this'll be good. Yeah. Um, firstly, we need to fill up with water. Yes. For the first time in Spain, yes. believe it or not. <laughs> we've um, we've not had the right adapter. They've either been too skinny or too fat, but this one actually has a adapter on it. It so. got to the point I thought I was gonna to have to fill the water bottles up. Yeah. That's, we that's another fill option. the water bottles up. That's another option. That would have taken ages. Right, let's do this then. It is ten to nine in the morning. We'll be there. In, it's only half an hour away. Looking forward to it. And this is the services. Drive over a little grate, which is oh, I just realised I stood in a puddle. <laughs> uh, taps here. Oh, is he going to have to push that? Where is he? Is it one of those you have to keep pushing? No, I don't think so. Yep, not bad. It took Does me a the few job. To work it out with that from the toilet. It's just a hole. Oh. We don't even have hoses next to them. They're not the best. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's got a connector on it. This one, so I'm hoping we're all right. Sorted. Seems fast. Certainly does. Yeah. Right, we've arrived in Argue. Argue? Arg oh, where is it? Argudas. We've arrived, it's fantastic, never mind. It is, it's brilliant. Look <laughs> at this. Look at our view. Look at his view from his cab. Check that out. Little houses up there. Jesus lives in one of them. Absolutely brilliant. It is. It's like being in the middle of the desert. Well, we might be. I don't know. I don't know. But wow. What a view. And it's got warmer. We were really high up, so we've come quite a lot down now, haven't we? It hasn't got that much warmer. No, well, I think that's it's just because you've had heater on. Anyway. <laughs> no, but it did go up a degree. A degree. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to this. It looks a nice place. Very busy. Yeah, it's a lot, lot of motorhomes here. Yeah. So that tells me there's got to be something to offer, like the town as well as this then, is Hopefully. It? Hopefully. Mm. Buenos dias. We said good morning. How did you know I said good morning? Because you just taught me that. Buenos We've dias. We've started the vlog. Yeah, I know, but I'm just <laughs> saying it again because I can. <laughs> right very windy a bit cold very windy it's a cold wind 
Yeah. Um, up to 47 mile an hour gusts, but the gusts should be coming from this direction. So I'm hoping the cliffs are going to save us a little bit. We're going to try and get up to the cliffs now. The cliffs, the houses, houses. Houses in the cliffs. Mazzy Red. When did they live in these little houses until? Up until the 1960s. Wow. People lived in these up until the 60s. That's incredible. Yeah. It's like I said to Mazzy, you know, if you're the postman, <laughs> it won't be a very good job being the postman in this uh, village. So if I'm sure there's going to be lots that we can't actually get to because there's no path or anything. Yeah. But it makes you wonder how they themselves got there, doesn't it? Well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where would they park the car? <laughs> oh, probably in here. It probably wasn't an air back then. It was probably just a car park. Um, yep, yeah, words. Anyway, this is beautiful. It just looks like where Jesus lived. So I'm, as long as we get to see a few of them, I'll be happy. Yeah. We've seen them from a distance now for, for the last hour and they just look incredible. And Mazzy's seen some pictures where they light up at night. Yeah, apparently they light up at night. I was looking, checking it out on Google. But the, the colours you, you saw were like, they were a pink and they were a it blue. It's like they multi-change colours. Yeah, I don't so. want to see the pink one, but I'd love to see the blue. Apparently these caves were better places to live than actual houses in the village. Why? Because they'd be very cool in summer and warm yeah. in winter. Yeah, get that. We're here. Shall we go look at us first one, Mazzy? Well, and you go out I'm quite excited about this. It's a bit like Flintstones. It is like Flintstones. If you can imagine the Flintstones and Jesus meeting. You alright? Yeah. Alright, oh. let's have a look. Wow! Who said you can't come in, Mazzy? We did read somewhere. I you... think the sign said, but I did did then read on Google. Somebody said come in, but just be careful. Well, you can go in these, I'm sure. Maybe the ones with the footpath you can go in. Yeah. Because yeah. they haven't sealed yeah. them off or anything, and everyone else I is going they in them. Went to the effort to and actually paint these as well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what kind of view they had. They didn't have proper windows, they just had holes. Nice. Now, I don't know about the green, I wouldn't have picked that. This must have been the bedroom. Um, so this is your kit. would that be a kitchen? I'd say this might be the kitchen because that would be a fire there, wouldn't it? I think kitchen stroke, living room. Where would they get water from though? Um, probably from the tap down in Motorhome uh, down there. Where we're going to get ours from. I wonder if that's one that's collapsed or is that a room they never got around to finishing? Well this obviously was a lot, uh, you know, this is all piled on isn't it? Because yeah. you can hardly stand up in here. I'm having to, I'm having to crouch to get down there. Have a look in the last room. Massive, this one. Oh, this one's big. This is quite warm in here. And I can stand up properly. Yeah. It's a better shade of blue. Imagine though, right, if you've got one of these, you can just keep extending it, extending it. You've gone to all this trouble, just make a mansion. Just keep extending it and make loads of rooms. Didn't it, you? It makes me wonder, you know, people lived here until the 1960s. Um, when did they start living in them? Yeah. Have they been here for like thousands of years? We don't yeah. know, do we? I wonder what sort of flooring they had. It's quite, I'd say, I want to say chalky. So it would be very easy to cut through the stone. It yeah. seems chalky. Yeah. People lived it. I'm guessing that's asbestos. So you've got to be careful. That's what your wall would have made made out of, but that's what they cut through. Yeah, mm, it, yeah, it's more sandstony, a little bit chalky. Not 
bad, so that's like a free bedroom apartment. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to look in the village, see how much they cost in yeah. estate agents. <laughs> I bet you can pick one of these up for 20 grand. If you can, shall we get one? Oh yeah, they can park the motor room down yeah. there, look. Yeah, that's the air. Can you imagine that, buying one of these for 20 grand? Yeah. It's ours. <laughs> no. I can. Yeah, this one looks like it's collapsed a bit. Yeah, it's really collapsed. Look at the sheer This big size. chunk has come off this corner here, you can tell. Well, look at the size of the slabs that have come down. Yeah. Okay. Not very well built, then. I wonder why they have collapsed, though. You wouldn't expect that in the rock, would you, really? Yeah, but they're not built by professional builders. They're just built by people. <laughs> Digging around. Yeah. Scouting around. You know what it reminds me of? What? It's like human rabbits. It's just making moleholes. It's just burrows full of houses. Someone's had a statue up there at some point, or it's a posty thing. I'm guessing that were a religious thing. Oh, quite dangerous actually. Yeah. Climbing these. I imagine back home they wouldn't allow you no. for health and safety to come places like this. Okay, we've got a beigey number now, so there were a woman <laughs> living in this one. <laughs> it's incredible. It's mad, isn't it? Oh, she had a little teenage boy. It's tiny. They do it though, isn't it's it? It's tiny. You'd like a window, wouldn't you? Mazzy, it's a cave. <laughs> you get what you're given. That says 1911 up there. Do you think that's nice. really done in 1911? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. We don't know how many of these you can actually go to or get in. But we're gonna just have a look through a few. Whoops. This is the, still the same apartment. Apartment. <laughs> apartment. The same okay, hall. Uh, what does that mean, guys? Someone tell us. No, I mean, no, why would you have this? Forget the writing. <laughs> why would you have this? Yeah, but is this a. That's what I'm wondering. Is this a toilet or something? Yeah. It looks like a spider is pointing at. But to me, that's a toilet. Could have been. Yeah, it's not a chimney. Mad, isn't it? I've seen this all over Spain so far, and Germany was exactly the same. Graffiti, graffiti everywhere. Yeah. You know, there's a time and a place for graffiti. I've seen trains graffitied and they look really cool, but not on historic places like this. It's it's just wrong. Even going through the old town yesterday. Yeah. What I did notice is. In the old town yesterday, they didn't graffiti the actual walls of the historic town, but any sign, graffiti all over it. You gonna show them the roof? <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, there's <laughs> the bookcase. <laughs> bookcase there, that would have been um, your fireplace. <sighs> Don't know. You'd have a lovely breeze coming through there though, wouldn't you? You know what you would have? What? You wouldn't have to worry about wiping your feet when you came in because no. you don't have to hoover every morning. Apart from the big rocks, but you wouldn't get this them in a hoover. Really what the floor would have been like. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how we're going to get down here, are we? Oh dear. Bring no. a taxi. I think we're going to have to go the other way. <laughs> oh, they're just all the way up, aren't they? The ones which get me are the ones right up. Some yeah. of them around the corner, they're like 30 foot up into the cliff and nowhere to get to it. You'd have had to get a ladder to get to them. I don't know what this one is then. Oh, this will look- It's like it's made just for mud and you can see the way it's just melted and sort of collapsed on itself. Yeah, this would be really cheap, Mazzy. Go and poke your head through that little door. Oh. <laughs> yep. It won't cost you a lot for this, honestly. Probably about seven grand in today's market. What's in there? Uh, I can't really see. 
I can't, oh, we should have put a torch. I can't get in really, it's a bit too narrow. That's about three and a half foot. Oh yeah, I won't want to live here. You couldn't even have a conservatory because it's not level. Alright, we're going to head up to this one up here. Oh. I haven't been to this one. Are they we? Do, yeah, they do keep going up and up, but I, I think it's getting a bit dangerous after this one. What do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is dangerous because it is very, like, sandy ground. Oh. Luckily, I think we've both got reasonably good footwear on for this. Well... I certainly have. I'm not slipping. Right, okay. This is number 11, Cave Street. <laughs> Cave Street. On the Board Mountain. Oh yeah, they've got a lovely entrance, look. Yeah, that's where you put your post and... No, you'd have God, Jesus and Mary. Big statues in the entrance. I'll tell you what, they've actually made an effort in this one, haven't they? Look at this one. Oh my God, this goes on and on and on. Oh. I don't like the black. You know what I'd do if it were my house? I'd have what? to cut like a hole in the ceiling to have a window up there. Skylight. Like an attic room. Skylight, yeah. So is this it in here? I can't see. I think there's a door in there. Right, yeah, let me get my camera, let me torch out. Because it is too dark to see yeah. over. Let's see if we can see anything. Uh, not real. I can't see where I'm walking. There's a wall there, but I can't see it with a naked eye. I can just see it through the camera. Yeah, I wouldn't want that bedroom, that's rubbish. This is the biggest apartment we've been in though. Look. Yeah, posher, nice, posher nice fire. Fireplace. This would Do have... you see what I'm saying about the, like, the mudslide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of this is... It's like cementing mud, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's covered the floor totally. Ooh, Ow. Watch your leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, picnic area, is... this would have been the kitchen area. You'd have had a table in the middle, bench at each side. Brilliant. What? <laughs> Dining room. Even though there's a spring there, so maybe someone slept here. That could have been a bed. Right, you go in there, you're going to need a torch because I can't see nothing. Oh, God, this is dark. I think. Oh, this is where Nico and Pauline lived. This was their bedroom. I know that because the names are on wall up there. <laughs> Nico and Pauline. Nico? <laughs> okay. Tell you what, it's good what? to stop the wind. Yeah. It's really, really... Um, but it's made me think, well, well, they must have had candlelight then, wasn't they? This must have been the pantry. Don't lead anywhere, just to keep your food cold. Just mind your head. Either they were small or they just didn't mind bending over. Yeah. Oh. Excellent, excellent. It's so good, isn't it? It is, it's special. It's a special place, is this? Is there any more up there then? Well, there is, but... But if they were living here until like... But these, by the way, I'm going to get this right now. Uh, you pronounce the name of the village. Agadeus. Agadeus. And these are Cuavas de Agaveas, which is obviously Caves of Agadeus. Um, there will be a link in the description, by the way, to the air which we're staying in, which yeah. is literally just down here. You can see a motor on there. There'll be a link in the description. It'll you, take you exactly to where it is. It's a free air, and you can stay for 48 hours. Um, on the Campy app, it will tell you where we are. I think we're going to be here for 48 hours. Oh, yeah, two days. Yep. Not sure where the actual house is under here somewhere but he's got a chimney no that's the one we haven't been in oh can we get in that yeah we can get in that oh look, cool look how high up some of these are yeah there's three up there how can you get to them yeah it doesn't make any sense well there's loads is that it's just covered in them so i think we're going now off the beaten path to ones we shouldn't really be going to honey all right It is a bit da it's dangerous up here. Right. Well, Look at the drop. There's no railing. There's a big drop down here. Be very, very careful. Keep hold of my hand, you. 
Yeah. You go up there. Yeah. And it's windy. Just one massive gust and oh, we're gone. Yeah. That's like, like quartz quartz stuff. Is, is it quartz? Uh, it looks quartz here. Yeah? Oh, that's cool. That'll be momentum. I'll wash that. <laughs> Okay. Oh God! Look at the right, drop off. We're not going to go no further, darling. No. Can you stick the camera around? There no. Show them what we're missing. Don't let go of me hand. I'm not. Right. <laughs> That's round the corner. We're not going round there. This is getting seriously dangerous. Um, and we're not even going. Oh man, we are going in here. We're just going to go in here, yeah. North one. That's a better view for you. There's our van. Quite a few spaces, but I'll tell you what, when we turned up, there are only a couple, so you have to get here at a reasonable time. That's a cheap small one. And cheap getting, small one? Yeah, I'm just getting nervous because of the amount of, that has actually collapsed in here. It's got no character. It's got no <laughs> character, that one. He must have just lived there on his own or a lady, because they didn't need to cater for anyone else. <laughs> right. Uh, just go that way, just get away from this edge because that edge is absolute. No, stay there, don't move, don't move, Mazzy. That is absolutely terrifying. I'm shocked that they actually allow people up here. Well, they don't, they do say the side two on the sides you're not allowed in, actually. Yeah, they say don't go in the caves, but they're not exactly stopping you. So, <laughs> I don't think these are the caves you can't go in though these are like sort of open to the public but the rest of them you're not allowed in it stretches all the way down the mountain yeah, yeah 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 and this is the actual village which we haven't been in yet we are fingers crossed going to get something to eat tonight in a restaurant what we are noticing you know, because we're staying on airs, and we're not doing airs just to be cheapskates, we're doing airs because they're more practical. They are in the and, villages and rather you can than. Just turn up as well. Sorry, can I interrupt as well? But you can just turn up, and you know, you might want to change your plans. And if you've got campsites booked, you know, you're dedicated to. to campsites, I think, would be boring. Airs, you've got all these lovely towns and stuff like that, haven't you? Can we go back to me now? Yeah, sorry. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> The campsites, I've noticed the ones I've been looking at in the this part. Don't go, don't move without me, you. Stop it. Stop can it. Get down there. You can't get down there, you'll die. Okay. Oh, God. I can't look. I can't look. Uh, the campsites tend to be more out of town. Yeah, they'll have a bar and a restaurant and a swimming pool, maybe. But they're not within walking distance of this kind of stuff. Um, so we're doing airs because they're more practical if you want to sightsee. And um, because we're doing airs, and most of them have been free, we've been in the odd one which has been 10, 15 euros with electric. Um, the free ones don't have electric. Because we're doing them, we're finding that because we're saving money on campsites, that's money we can spend by going and having a drink in town or going and having a meal. So. Have we been in there? No. We haven't been in there. The fact is anyway, we wouldn't even be able to book onto a campsite, would we? We wouldn't. We're too Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yeah, I can speak to anyone in Spanish, me. All right. This one looks so this was like the tourist information of the cave village. Yeah, this is too park. This is too. It's a bit upmarket. It is upmarket, isn't it? I feel like this one's going to be a big one. What's this? That's unusual, isn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing water went in there, not a fire, because it has a little channel. I don't know. It does have some writing. Oh, here we are. The caves had no running water. Instead, water had to be brought up from the rivers in brass jugs, which the girls and women, that's a bit sexist, used to carry on their hips or heads. How could you carry some water on your hip? It'd slide off. It'd slide off. <laughs> um, yeah, 
something about laundry. I did wonder where the water would come from. Dog kennel area for your pets. Well, you can see remnants of what might have been a door on here, like a hatch door. Maybe they're animals. They might have had chickens on I just said that. That's where dog lived. Oh, I don't mean dogs, though. I can't get used to this GoPro, you know. It's so bad in certain lights, and then it's actually better than my eyes in here. It's showing it up really clearly. So let me, I do need the light for the back one because that is dark. Yeah, that's too, oh, there you go. Yeah, not keen on, this is, it was either the cave shop or tourist information. Absolutely fascinating. That is amazing, isn't it? And I'll tell you what, they are warm in there. There is zero wind. Yeah. I could live in one of them. In fact, I did. My mum will be watching this. She knows. I lived in a basement. I had um, mushrooms on my wall. Uh, no windows. It were about three foot by four and a half foot. I, I literally had to put my knees up like that to sleep because it wasn't long enough for my body. My mum's gonna be good. You liar, you liar. Right, we're in a mansion. Oh, is this another one? Yeah. Wow, look at this. This one's thick, isn't it? They even had a proper window frame. I would have had a window as well, maybe. Some yeah. kind of shutter or something. Oh, this is uh, just. Well, the old one makes a room now. Right, that's a larder. I'm telling you now, that's a proper larder. Look at this. Right, so that's like a water channel. They had uh, a water. I bet this were a bath. Oh, I need to keep getting my torch out. I'm trying. No, I'm having no luck. There we go. That's weird. Who lives in a place like this? Who lives in a house like this? Oh, watch what you're doing. What? You're killing the history. I was just going to try to no, see. No, don't. Don't. You're so bossy tonight. No, I want you to go in. No, go I want on. you to go in, no. Rosie, because I've got something to say as you're walking in. I just wanted to say the living conditions for the nearly 50 families who lived in these caves, they were really modest. And there were other advantages, you know, one being that they owned their own homes and did not have to pay any rent. This was something they used as a retort when people derisively referred to them as uh, cave dwellers. And yes, Mazzy was right. What? So I've just read it on the wall. It was the 1960s when they were all living here. They actually got moved on. All the families got rehoused in a nearby place. Why? I don't know. Something to do with economic changes. So this was the bedroom, the kinky bedroom. It's changed. Exactly. That's why it's the kinky bedroom. Got one here as well. Yeah, a very kinky bedroom. Oh, and they had dinosaurs as pets. Wouldn't they? It's like that thing out of the Goonies used to live in here. Oh, slap. Chained up. <laughs> and I'm sure there was a candle or a Virgin Mary in there for hundreds of years. Can you check this out, look? Did they have pipe work? Is that pipe? Oh, no. Wood. It's just a lovely yeah, shelf. Mm. <laughs> I thought, how did they get pipe work up here? <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? It is quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> I am very surprised the actual... They haven't cordoned off the bit we went to up there. Yeah. Because that were very, very dangerous. 
you know, if you're not young, fit adventurers like other people, not us, um, that's very dangerous. But they're trusting you to make up your own decisions. So this is the pathway, so we've been in these here and these here and some of the higher ones but whether you can get to any of the others I don't know because they keep going Yeah. and there's yeah. loads over there as well I've got Oh I'd love to go in a mall, that would be well good Here we've got to go down. I get the feeling they've left some just like so people can't get to them so that even if these get ruined a bit by tourists, they've still got plenty more to play with. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, by the way, Mazza. Yeah. First thing I have to do. What? I know what you first have to do in the morning. My fitness regime, we've got uh, a gym over there. You won't even be able to make it from one to another, look. You'll be knackered by the time you got from one to another. Yeah, but I'll cut that bit out. <laughs> so we just came back, put all them clips on his computer, edited it, and thinking it was about 15 minutes footage. Um, <laughs> it's not, it's 36 minutes. It's a vlog. <laughs> it's a vlog, so we're going to have to yes. finish this here in a moment. Yeah. But before we do, there's something very, very, very important. Yeah, big, oh. big sip thanks. Super thanks. You know yes. why? Because we can. Let me just wipe that. Yeah, we like to thank people who thank us, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. We've got a lovely list. Extremely grateful. This list is massive today. Beautiful <laughs> set of people. We have got Rolo and Neen. Thank you, Rolo and Neen. Thank you. Tony and Jackie. Thank you, Tony and Jackie. There's a lot of couples today. Yeah. Starla Phillips, the best name in the world. Thank you, Starla. Caddy Trevor. Thank you, Caddy. I'm guessing he's a golf caddy. <clears throat> he's calling himself Caddy Trevor. <laughs> Peter Webster. Thank you, Peter. Angela Donaldson. Thank you, Angela. Ange Roper. Thank you, Ange. Suzanne Ryan. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. Rosie Posey. Thank you, Rosie. I'm going to need some water in a minute. Uh, where are we? Anne Brioli. Anne Brioli. Thank you, Anne. <clears throat> I'm lost. Azzy. We're down to Azzy. Oh, Tony. As it was. Thank you, Azzy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Azzy. Fist punch. <laughs> Crimson Kangaroo. Uh, I like that name. Thank you, Crimson. Oh, I don't know if that's a man or a woman. Frugal stew. Frugal stew. Thank you, frugal. Sherry Perez. Thank you, Sher Sherry. Sherry Perez. <laughs> Darren Dixon, my old mate. Thank Boom. You, Darren. Love you, Darren. Oh, Lynn and Tony. Lynn and Tony. Thank you. Oh, I like this one. Gaz and Chaz. Chaz. It's not Chaz. It's Chaz. Chaz. Gaz and Chaz. Gaz and Chaz. Thank you, Gaz and Chaz. I can imagine that on the front of a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Gaz and Chaz. Chaz. On, that, on that thing on your window screen, yeah, like Del Boy. I did read the other day. I think they've what? stopped making Ford Fiestas. I thought they did back in the 1980s. No. I think they've just stopped <laughs> producing them. Uh, Keith and Jan. Keith and Jan. Thank you, Keith and Jan. Louise and Steve. Thank you, Louise and Steve. We're nearly there. And Paulie Walnuts. Thank you, Paulie Walnuts. Boom. Thank you, Paulie Walnuts. And we've That's also got one. two new patrons. We've got oh, Ice. Thank you, Ice. Ice, Ice baby. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda Lewis. For upping her Patreon. Oh, bless you, Amanda. You're all so kind. Thank you all yes. so much. And we will keep <laughs> thanking our super thanks because we love you to bits and we don't care how much of our video it takes up because you deserve it. You're special. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Is that it then? 
Yeah, that's going to have to be the yeah, end of this. It's, it's too long. Yeah, it's going to have to be the end of it because we're still going to go into town. We'll keep filming. Don't panic. We're going to go get and, something to eat, aren't we? And we're going to be here for two days, definitely, because I need to relax. I've been really exhausted today, drained, if I'm quite honest. And you were yesterday. Physically, more physically yesterday, but today now I just, even just getting up that hill. I it's just, hard work, especially with the weather change. It's cold. Yeah. It's cold. So we're finding it a bit odd we thought it'd be warm <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's cold but w would you rather we take you around places like that or would you rather see us on a campsite in benidorm at 30 degrees just showing you as pool you know it's a no-brainer isn't it oh yeah i mean we'll get there we'll get there when we get there it's simple as we're here for three months all i know is that i shopped for the wrong clothes coming here <laughs> I brought all these shorts, dresses, lovely little tops. No, I'm still in me old English winter wear. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to get my wellies out tomorrow by the look of it. <laughs> it's supposed to be healing now for three hours, believe well, it or not. Well, it did start spitting a minute ago, yeah. didn't it? But yeah, we're no, going to go into town now, find yeah. something to eat. We're not doing the tour of the town as such today. but Not today, we'll save that for we'll, tomorrow. We'll film if we see anything. Yeah. But it's all about finding a, a lovely restaurant who do proper food because my stomach isn't coping very well. No, really. you've had dodgy guts this morning and stuff, haven't you? I have. Um, I need a proper meal and I'm saying to Mazzy, <sighs> maybe just something like burger and chips. Something, something I can't go wrong substantial. with. Substantial. Yeah. yeah. Something hard and solid and not liquidy. Anyway. <laughs> on his list of Spanish words he's already put down what was it well done well or something. done yeah well done <laughs> <laughs> so it don't come raw <laughs> right yeah love thanks you guys all. we'll see you all yeah. tomorrow thanks for watching us uh, Spain trip we yeah. appreciate the amount of views we're getting at the moment and all our new subscribers and there's new subscribers Thank and if you. you're not subscribed please consider subscribing yeah. there's a little button below and yeah. if you'd like to click the notification oh, don't bell be tacky. all right then don't be tacky